hi everyone welcome back um, just popping in to show you what I'm gonna do for 2021 some of it um, I'm a bit disorganized sort of I don't know I feel like I know what I want um, and I just want to put it together with you simplest thing I think first is my Hobonichi weeks so um, I have this pencil board let me just move this out of the way a little bit I have this pencil board it comes with this little sticky pocket and here is my weeks in the cherry blossom color um, very simple I'm I mean I keep saying I'm not going to decorate it so let's go with that for the moment I have the Eric cover so I thought I would just put that on with you guys and set myself up because I can start using this on Monday the 30th of November that's the first date that's in here so I thought I really want to do that if I can I kind of want to set it up and start using it although I don't really know what I mean by set up because I think I've said a hundred times I don't really want to decorate in here um, I don't know I'm still deciding I thought I would pop this in the yearly section which has that overview at the front and then I'll put this here in uh, the monthly section and then I can move that as time goes on um, but I also might put some um, I'm, while I'm not going to decorate as such I might put some vellum and things in here to separate the bits and pieces out for the moment I just thought I'd pop my little um, pencil board in the back there and I don't know if I want to stick this down it has a secretarial pocket here I don't know if I really want another one so I'm not going to put it in for now I'm just going to put that aside um, and that is pretty much it um, one thing I wanted to have a look at I have this order here from Bunbugu that I have not yet unboxed because I thought about unboxing it with you but let's do that now <laughs> um, so I got these two Klenner pens the guys in the Coffee Monsters Co group go nuts about these pens so I got the pink one in a 0.3 and the green mint one in a 0.4 so I thought we could try those out let's just do that oh, it's got a little bit of wax on the bottom oh, my desk is a mess I've been planning and December dailying and all sorts of stuff today so this is the Pentel Klenner it's an Enagel and this one is the point three, so a bit scratchy, and but nice. And this one is the Pentel Clutter, also in a gel, in the zero point four. I do much prefer the blackerness of the point four, but both nice. Um, so there's that. Uh, I'll get to what I was going to show you in a minute. Um, I got this Kuyuko glue tape, and um, it's so cute and tiny. And then I got a refill for it as well. So pop, just pop the refill in there. And I guess you can pull this back. Oh, it unrolls. Did you see that? Okay, let's put it back how it was. So that's it closed up. And then we just pull this little bit here out. And then it becomes... Look how tiny it is. So cute. And then the uh, insert for it as well. So um, cute. Uh, that is awesome. Also from Kokuyu. Uh, is this a really cute little thing? It's an eraser, um, an eraser stick, if you like. Let's see how it works. I think it's under it, yeah. So it just falls down, so you erase there like that. And this will just, you can just pull out the bits that you need, I think. Um, so cute, pink, tiny, with the little scrappy thing as well. Um, no real information on there that I can read. If you can read that, then um, yay, but I cannot, so I'll put that away. 
Um, I was super excited about this. This is a stapleless stapler. I don't know um, how good it's going to be. I suspect it'll be pretty good because of the brand. But let's let's try stapling this. It says it can do up to 10 pages. Oh, it puts a hole in it at the same time. But now those pages are stuck together. So that's pretty cool. It pushes that bit through and then tucks it in behind itself back there. That's pretty cute. Um, yeah, I, I am keen to see how I can use that. Um, there's some options, that's not options, but some ideas about stapling um, your spreads in December daily to just attach things that you don't want to put adhesive on. I don't know if I really want to punch a hole in them either. Um, I didn't realize it did punch a hole, but uh, anyway, that's an option. And then lastly are these adorable rubber bands. Can you see um, in the picture there? <laughs> so, you know, most people, oh, look at this pouch that it's in. That's fabulous. Most people um, buy the Hobonichi cover that has the two pen loops on either side, and then your pen secures the planner together. But I thought, I don't know what these are like, but I thought maybe this could be a cute option. They're just little rubber bands. And I thought literally I can just pop that around my planner and Bob your uncle. How cute is that? It's just adorable. And it seems pretty sturdy so I think it would last a while. I'm just trying to get it on so that I don't um, roll it but I don't know there's much chance. Oh no, that's not too bad. There we go. I think that's so cute. Okay, so that's the that's the bits and pieces I got from Bamboo. Let's put that to the side. And what I think I've decided to do is to carry it in this. So my weeks in this um, travel wallet from Kiki K. It used to have a long strap on the end here to carry it around with, and um, it's it's broken off. So I haven't opened this in ages like ages when I don't know when I last traveled Amsterdam last year oh yes yeah, so it's still got my passport in it in fact this is how I always know where my passport is it's in this wallet so that may change I carry around some glasses or um, screen cleaner this cute pen from a supplier and then our work emergency assist card nothing in the secretarial nothing there nothing there let's see if there's any cash no cash. Anyway, I thought this might just fit nicely in here or even just pop it in there to carry it around so that it doesn't get ruined. I don't know, it actually is a lot bigger than I remembered so I may not put it in here. Also the pen loop. The pen loop is kind of not where I expected it to be so if I was to put it on this side instead, maybe, but I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, this may not be what I want to do, in which case I'll put my passport back in there so that I always know where it is. All right, I'll rethink that. Good to know. This is why I like to have these discussions with you guys. Um, Okay, so I'm not going to do any more setting up in here today, but I will, I think if I'm going to do any setups in here, I'll do it in another video. Um, but what I am thinking is I might just, this week coming, the week of the 28th of November, I might just have a play, you know, with this. I've already set up my week in my QK as I normally would, so I thought I would have this as a, I will use this predominantly, but I'll have that there as well just in case. So just to see how we go as this being my everyday work planner. How bizarre, right? Let's see how we go. All right, so then I have my cousin. Now last night, please don't be mad at me, but last night I went 
into my cousin and I added all of the beautiful monthly dividers tabs I mean sorry from the Coffee Monsters Co. I just I just felt like it it was very late it was dark it was hard to film and I wasn't sure how I'd go so I did a little bit of setup in here because I'm super keen to move into this I put the little um, yearly monthly weekly and notes that come with um, those monthlies and I just think they're adorable they're made more for the weeks um, the same height these two just about oh no it's a lot shorter but it is made um, to sit in the weeks but still it's shorter than the weeks it's like if I put that at the start of January at the top of the planner there there's still a fair chunk of room left over at the end so um, I'm okay with using it in here instead um, I just wanted the cute stuff in here and I've got these as well and I have done a little bit more in this planner too so let's have a little look so I have gone through and I've used this kit from Arabea to cover up the um, 2021 and months that uh, were in Japanese on here I've kept the numbers of course but um, just to make it a bit clearer for myself at a glance to know when you know is my birthday the 9th of August is on a Monday so um, you know things like that it's easy to get to at a glance um, there was this larger sticker here to cover 2020 because I didn't really need the dates for 2020 so um, I'm going to do something with this and I may do that with you today we'll see how we go or I may just set up the outside of the planner today we'll sort of work that out and also Arabea has these um, monthly verticals as well so I've been able to cover up the month at the top and then also the strips here with this cute pink um, strip and I think it looks really cute it's nice it's me you know it's my colors so that looks really good and then we jump into December so I can start using this this month and I'm going to I'm going to start with the um, journaling in this particular planner so all I've done here is pop the sticker for the month on where the first first number starts so for January the one the first one starts there and if I flip to February that's the first two so I've added it there and I've just placed it it's kind of an easy way to to um, make them straight was to just go through and lay them centered within that square that worked really really well I don't know if they're designed specifically for that or what but that really worked for me and how cute the faces I didn't realize at the time um, when I bought them but all the faces are just a little bit different <laughs> they've got these cute little um, expressions just so cute all right I've done one more thing at the back so right at the back there are these note, notes pages so after December 31st there are these notes pages so I've just put the notes tab there and then there starts the, these kind of Japanese reference pages at the back so um, part of the Arabea stuff I got was this grid page that I could put in here just to extend this and then I kept this graph paper page here and the favorites page because I thought maybe I could use the favorites page and graph paper as always it's just like the grid so I'm okay with I just put a sticker over the top for whatever I want to record here and I kept this spread as well because of the my 100 um, so Anna Jolene printables um, sells basically Arabea's designs I um, mean printable format so I'm tempted to go and get you know buy by this particular design so I can add it to the the other pages here so I might do that um, see how we go and then she also had this grid monthly spread as well like month year at a glance in the months so I grabbed that one too and I popped it in here um, it went down really well until I got to this last one I don't know if you can see here but I have wrinkled this page um, a little bit it was a bit tricky to put this one down for some reason I just didn't it's because it was on this side and so it doesn't lie flat against the table um, so it just got a bit wonky but I've flattened it out with the ruler and you can't you can't tell from this side you can't feel it it's 
totally fine. And then there's just a couple of pages left. So if I buy that design um, of that printable, then I may just um, fill the rest of these in. But I probably won't need those pages anyway, so that's totally fine. Okay, so how are we going to house the cousin this year? I bought this beautiful jelly cover from Messy Bun Creations. It arrived yesterday and I think that's why I had to play with my cousin last night because I just couldn't wait to put it on here. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like, it's like this. It's just gorgeous. But what I wanted to do was put some paper underneath. So I had a couple of options. Now if you saw my little um, haul video recently, you saw that I got these wrapping papers. Um, with a rainbow watercolor rainbow effect so I thought they that would be really nice and it is it, that, that does look nice that's one option so I have this beautiful photograph that used to be my business card when um, well it still is for my photography um, business so um, yeah it's just this beautiful flower that I photographed in macro you can hopefully see the little water droplets there on um, those little stamen. I just love this picture but also this pinkness here it's that I don't know if you can tell on camera let me grab some white paper it's that beautiful purpley pink that is my favorite kind of pink um, so that's an option um, let's have a look at how it would look in here if I just pop this in So it really makes those stars pop, doesn't it? Let's put it completely in. Um, so this is A4 paper, um, which is smaller than the cover, which is not a problem because I'm, this is the front of the cover that I'm interested in anyway. So that doesn't bother me. Um, so we would just move it to whichever side I wanted to be the front. So if I wanted the floral to be the front, I would have it like that. Or if I wanted the other side to be the front, then I would move it all the way to the edge. So that's definitely an option. And I really like the purpley pink. I'm not sure if I really like the floral pattern underneath the stars. So I don't think that's the one. And I have decided on my one, but I thought I would go through them with you just to see. Then I have this beautiful photo. I love this photo of some um, disc buds. Uh, and this is in macro. So the... the flower itself is probably around this big in real life so you can see a macro shot makes it enormous so I thought that could be quite stunning in here I haven't tried this one actually um, because I think I've decided on what I want but let's go through the exercise just to see um, I'm going to get kind of half and half so we can see both sides so it gives it oh that's really nice too it gives it kind of a warmer look I think a bit darker um, ready pink rather than the purpley pink and the same on the other side so that's definitely an option and I think I could definitely use that for autumn for sure so I'm going to keep that one as an option but I think what I've decided on is this um, Hey Santa vellum from Crate Paper it's just the prettiest stuff and it's Christmassy and it's Christmas now so I thought let's use this one I think you'll um, you'll agree that it's a really lovely choice but I think they all make great choices you know I'll just move that to the very edge because I want to use that as the front and look it's just cute and pretty and the pale pink well it it's white paper so the pink of the jelly cover is coming through there to make it a pale pink jelly star hollow graph fabulousness so this is what I'm going to go with um, let's pop it into the cover because I'm super keen to see how it looks and feels you know because and make sure it fits too because once you add paper I think you can change the, the fit slightly because these are made to be um, I don't want to steal someone else's words, but perfect fit, you know. And it is, oh, beautiful. Um, so let me just tell you again, it's from Messy Bun Creations, and it, 
it's just gorgeous and uh, you can kind of see the Hobonichi Tetsuo 2021 cousin poking through there which I quite like as well it's very very subtle and you can see there's just this tiny strip left here um, where it, the paper doesn't quite meet but I'm not too bothered because I'm probably going to put it inside one of these if it fits I don't know if it's going to fit with the jelly cover on so that's what we're going to find out today so that's that and with the cover I also bought this little pen holder not really sure what I'm going to do with it but it was quite inexpensive and um, I thought such a good deal so for example let's pop these Klenner pens in and that little um, hook can go over them so you know that's quite cute um, it's my mild liner maybe a mild liner and the pink one would go in there you know that might be my everyday things that I use or my clean color dot pen I think it can fit three pens comfortably no I don't want to put a fourth in so I could fit three pens in there quite comfortably so yes whether I I don't know if one of those rubber bands will stretch around here but I don't think I want to attach it to the cover at all I just kind of got it because I thought I might want to use it okay so let's move some of this stuff to the side I have these two beautiful Kiki K uh, A5 notebook covers and I wondered if this might fit in there I think I'm gonna not be able to fit it because with the jelly cover on I think it's going to be too um, thick I might use this one first because I've used it a fair bit and it's a bit stretched so I'll just take out this is my private details in there so I don't think this is going to fit but um, if I did I would only put the back cover in because I want to use the pockets so and I think it would look quite pretty so let's have a look to see if we could get it in there I don't think so no that's not going to go so let me show you um, if I just line that up it's exactly the same width as the Kiki K cover so that's not going to work um, I thought I might be able to you know come up with a new use for these guys because I've got a couple of them sitting around and um, I do swap them in and out I have um, this one currently for my work um, it accompanies my work planner I just use it for notes and it's really good for notes so I do swap it out depending on what planner I'm using at the time if I want to have something you know come with that planner so they're not going to go to waste is what I'm trying to say but they're not going to do the job that I was hoping that they would do today okay so I have this gorgeous pocket from a tickle pink planning and in here I just have the journaling card or I don't know if you, it's not a journal card it's too big and this one as well and these stickers and this cute little card from create with pen so these two are from create with pen and these two are from these three are from tickle pink planning but I just kind of want to have somewhere to house all my bits and pieces that I've been that I want to use within the Hobonichi systems that I've got going so I also have this pencil case from create with pen and uh, I filled this up last night and it just makes me so happy let's go through what's in here so I have these stickers from create with pen I won't go through them because I went through them all on the unboxing but there's these ones here and these ones here I've got two of the same there so I've got those and um, these two sets of sticky notes also from create with pen and this one from this same set from tickle pink planning then I have these from Arabea I got them when I got the uh, kits to do my oh that's where that is okay so this is these um monthly tabs are made for the cousin technically but I'm going to see if they'll fit my weeks um, so let's maybe do that together today I've got these everything will be okay um, stickers from Arabea and these little gorgeous little hearts this cute little um, speech bubble I might put that separately because die cuts I might do something with and this cute little um, sampler as well 
and what else do I have in here? I have these fabulous little mini dots from Luscious Labels. I'm going to use those in the Hobonichi system. And then a couple of things to show you here. I have this gorgeous uh, vinyl die cut from Tickle Pink Planning. It came in an order that arrived yesterday, which I did not unbox, but it's just my usual stickers mainly, like YouTube and stuff, and then this vinyl and some matching washi. All gorgeous, and you'll see it, I promise, um, but I just didn't film the unboxing. Um, I have this cute little die cut from Create With Pen, and then I have these three glorious ones from Coffee Monsters Co. Oh my goodness, they're adorable. And then I have all of these washi samplers from various D stashes from Coffee Monsters Co. as well. So um, that's that's what I'm putting in here. Oh, one more thing. Um, I made myself a Coffee Monsters Co. pouch, just like all my other pouches, you know, my, my planner pockets. Um, I used a freebie from the group, which is this zombie emoti working hard. And I've put in here all of my Coffee Monsters Co. stickers. Again, I won't go through them all because I did a haul video, but you can see them there. They're so cute. Um, so my Hobonichi cousin is going to be the place where I just go a little nuts with the happy, happy journaling. I mean, it might not be happy journaling. It might be sad journaling. But I'm going to be using um, all these cute, super cute stickers that I just adore and I don't normally use in my everyday planner. So I'm going to put all this back in the pouch. Um, okay, um, I also have with me this uh, journaling card that came with my Coffee Monsters Co. order, Fall in Love With Yourself First. And I've, I'm keeping this because Mama Tater signed it, but also because it's my bean card. So I'm going to be collecting all the beans off of all of my um, stickers, sticker sheets. And I thought I'd just put this in the back of here, just in this little back little pocket here, so that I'm, I know where it is at all times to fill up when I use up a sheet. I could go through and just peel them all off every sheet, couldn't I? But it's kind of fun to sort of see the progress. So I have another pocket here, which I should consolidate. Um, it's actually the very first one I made uh for you know preparing for the shop i called it my pocket full of pretty things it's upside down and on the front is um one of my photos but i can't sell this because that is not my image there this girl with the bun so i don't think i can sell this particular um pocket but i just love it so much so in here i have all these super cute shiny bunny and moon things and these new more avenue stickers um, Nanny Planning ones and these two from Arabea that I wanted to put in the big pocket and then these guys from Nanny Planning at the back as well. I've got a couple more over here I just used in my plan with me so I better grab those. Is that it? I think that's it. So um, I'm going to leave them in this pocket for now because I know where they are but I am going to move the Arabea ones because I actually thought they were in here. Okay, um, I have this journal card with me as well. It's actually a postcard from Pumpkin Paper Co. Um, which I got with a Christmas kit. So this is one of the Christmas kits coming up in my A5 planner. So I did want to keep this in here. Um, I'm just not sure if I want to keep it in here and here. There's a, a couple little bits of the hollow. Um, they just need to come off there. They're not stuck there or anything. They just need to rub off. Um, so yes, she could maybe sit in there. I'm not quite sure yet. But what I want to get on to, um, one thing I wanted to do was check the size of these dots because I wanted to use this in here in this yearly section. So I just wanted to get an idea. Where are my tweezers? I just wanted to get an idea of how big these are compared to the dates. I don't want to stick it down. So hopefully this goes the way I want it to. I just wanted to get an idea of, you know what, let's stick one down and we'll make it my birthday. Because, you know, I need to remember what day my birthday is. So I'll take the, a pink one, hello of course, and I'll put it on the 9th. Okay. 
Okay, so they're the perfect size. Just the perfect size for this planner. I'm so excited. Okay, so that's going to stay in this particular section. So um, what I planned to do today was fill the pockets of that Kiki K A5 notebook holder um, that this is going to sit in, but obviously it's not going to sit in there now, so um, I'm not going to be doing this little setup that I thought I was going to be doing. Um, so this may be a lot shorter than a, a video than I expected it to be. I did want to use some of these. Um, I thought about putting this actually inside or on the front of the jelly cover or just, you know, um, adhering it inside the actual pocket. If I see if I can just shove that in there to have a look. Like whether it could just sit under there instead and maybe I could just sit it here at the bottom or over the Hobonichi. You know, it would sit maybe here or here. Um, not quite sure yet and the same goes with these little guys I was tempted to just pop them inside the cover as well just like that because they're so cute but I think I want to wait until I figure out my front like my cover that I'm going to put it in if I do end up putting it in anything so I think I will leave it for now but what I did want to do um, I have these um, vellums that I've created. I don't know if you've seen them yet or not. This one is uh, not to spoil the ending, but everything is going to be okay. This one is flawsome. I have my flaws, but I'm awesome anyway. Pink foil. And then the other one says, please excuse me while I'm being dramatic. So the reason I created these, and I made them all to be just that little bit smaller than the A5 page, um, is to separate out um, the sections. You know, I've got the little tabs, but also to make it easy to flip through. If I wanted to get to certain spots, I wanted to be able to do that super easily. So what I thought I would do is put one at the start of the weeks. So here's our weekly. So I thought I could put it here and maybe I would put it in, in March because I'm probably not going to put use March in this planner, like March 2022. Um, so I was going to put one here to make, make this start of the planner. Let me just pop that in there for now so I can mark the place. And I'll show you why in a minute. Um, but I also kind of really want to use my... Um, not to spoil the ending, but everything's going to be okay. I want to use this up front because I feel like it's a nice um, start to the to the book. So I'm just not quite sure where I would put it. Like if the point is to put these somewhere where it's easy to flip through, flip to, so that the journal sort of falls open where you want it to. So maybe actually it will go here. And I might use another one at the start of my notes section. So right here. I might just put one here to mark the beginning of the notes section. Maybe that's what I'll do. And I'm putting them in as tip-ins, which you'll see in a second. Um, all right, I might put this one down because I'm pretty sure this is the one I want. Um, I've bought a few washies with me, um, but I think... Oh, so I was going to use this gold, rose gold hearts, you know, that's my life. But I also have these couple from um, the Hobonichi store. They've used the cute washi tape to hold the case, the package together. That's adorable. And then I have this MT Lifebook one, which is Inception-like um, washi tape. <laughs> so let me open this one up as well. Okay, I very much like this one because it's quite minimal. You know, you can barely see it. It's just, it's just holes stuck together with tape. <laughs> and then this one is super cute because it's strips of washi tape forming the washi tape. So I need to get these on a dispenser. So that's pretty cute as well. But I think uh, the other two are my choices for today. This one and or this one. Maybe both. Maybe I'll use the rose gold one on the front because that does have rose gold foil in the quote. So, I don't know how sticky this is. Oh, it seems pretty good. Um, I'm going to use it for the length of the 
paper and I'm going to do this on my directly on my bench because um, it's easy to peel off the bench but I also want to get it the right length so I want to cut the center of that circle there so let me grab my overkill scissors I could just make it longer than the page of course and then trim the ends but anyway I've done it now And one thing about washi tape in the Hobonichi I've learned is to, or anything that you're sticking down, is just to stick it to yourself a little bit first to take off some of the stick. Um, that way, if you do need to pull it up off your paper, it's not going to destroy the paper of the journal itself. Now, this is adorable, like little bubbles. And I've made the page, like I said, just that little bit smaller than A5, so I don't want it to stick out. Um, and I wanted to leave myself room for the washi. Oh, that is good. Perfect. Looks really cute. And if I close it up, it doesn't stick out. And the idea then is that it can kind of just flick to the page for you. So hopefully, yeah, it just flicks to that page. So that's what I wanted. And then this one I just flicked for me as well. This one has, I've got a gradient of pink to rose gold in the foil. So I think the rose gold one, um, let me just put this sticker back down on my washi so I know where the beginning is. I love this so much, I want to get some more. Okay, I'm going to use this one and I think I'll do the same thing, but I may not measure I may just trim off the ends of this one because I've got like 75 rolls of it. I've got three rolls of it. I want the hearts to face this way. And I want most of the tape to be on the vellum. And I have to try to remember to relax the tape. I always stretch it too far and then the page kind of puckers. Let's just trim off the excess. I think I trimmed off slightly more than the excess then, but that's okay. Oh, so pretty. I love this washi. This washi is from Hobby Hoppers, if I haven't said that a thousand times about this washi tape already. So I'm just trying to line this up. Sorry, I'm off camera there for a second. Um, just trying to line this up so that it's neat. I'm going to line it up with the top of the um, grid and just with the edge of the page as well. That's pretty good. And it's just enough tape, um, space for the tape there as well. So, um, what I didn't do was check the other side whether I could put some scotch tape over that just to um, secure this side as well but I'm not going to I'm just going to see how we go I'll leave it for the moment if I flick to this other one flicks so easily um, same again but I don't think I'll write on this page anyway because oh, you can see through it and I kind of like just to see the grid through it so pretty Okay, what else do I have here? I have the other piece, the please excuse me while I'm being dramatic, but I don't know if I really want to use that just now. I've also brought with me these bow seals from Simply Gilded. I must have got these from someone because I didn't, I don't, I think I've ever placed an order with Simply Gilded, so. Um, I was just thinking that one of them could look cute on the front here. This one, obviously, because of the colour. Um, it could just sit there, I'm looking adorable. It could go on the back. Oh, I'm really struggling to commit to the front cover because I really actually love it just as it is. That's the thing. I'm just not sure whether adding something would really be of use. I don't think it is. I think I'm gonna take you off for now. Mm, I like the idea. It's super cute. Mm, 
Mm, I might just let it grow on me. I mean, look, I might just sleep on it. Maybe that's what I want to say. And see what we think. All right. So I have this little strip here as well of paper that matches, you know, the same paper. Um, I thought uh, originally about popping it in here just to extend that color around. And because it's really cute, just to add a bit of color to the inside. It doesn't have to go there, but um, I quite like it actually. Wasn't sure it would fit. I didn't measure it, but it looks like it's just the right size. It must be the off cut off the end of one of these pieces. It's a printable that I have, so. Yeah, okay, so then maybe this could sit on the inside cover. She's pretty cute, hey? Um, or she could sit on the vellum because I could peel her off the vellum then. I might not even stick her down, I might just sit her there. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'm just gonna sit her in here in case I decide to put her somewhere else. I'm just gonna sit her there like that. So, then I can decide if it's, if it's the right thing for this page. Okay, so then I can decorate up this page, but I'm super, super not keen on committing to doing that because I just don't know what I want to do. I want to keep it beautiful. Um, so I don't want to do something, um, you know, off the cuff. I'd rather think about it, I think. But I think that's enough to show, um, I just love it. It feels so good. I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like with this paper underneath the jelly cover how cute the jelly cover is. It's just stinking cute. I just adore it. And then my little Coffee Monsters Co. bits and pieces in here. The beautiful Arabea bits. Um, and then my vellums as well within there to, to hold those places. Yeah, I thought about mood tracking with these dots because that's for moods, technically. I may change the order of the colors slightly to suit. But I thought about just having um, that to track my moods, but I think they're a bit big to fill in these tiny, tiny squares. I've got to fit 31 down the column, so I may not. I'll just probably keep these for the main calendar at the front to denote um, important dates. And whether those then I carry across into here, um, you know, put the dot there, the dot on the calendar, and then have over here signify what that is. I have actually thought about either popping this little sticker here, die cut I mean, or even just piling these guys up on the sides of this. They're just so cute. Or even just one of them. Just this little guy with the bear with the little envelope. Just to add a little something to the page. I could do that again with the non-committing. So I have my Coffee Monsters Co. Advent Calendar coming. It should be here hopefully next week, um, but probably the week after, uh, I suspect. So there'll be more stuff in there that I can use as well. So I don't kind of want to go overboard with the things that I have now, just in case there's something in there that I want to add instead. So I'm going to leave it for now. But what I really wanted to show you is this is my journal for 2021 um, alongside actually the five year Tet Show as well. So this will be like full on. Um, I suspect it's going to turn into my personal planner as well. I kind of have a feeling that's how this is going to work out um, because my plan, if you didn't know already, I actually probably should have put a vellum at the front of the months. Let's go to the months. So my plan here is to put one of my little Coffee Monsters Co. stickers, emojis, on each day of the month and then write a tiny bit about it, about what happened that day, my little highlighty type thing or low light, whatever. And then that will help me form the main journaling that happens on the daily pages back here. So these will be full pages of journaling. But what that leaves behind is these weeks. So in between all that is the weeks, which I didn't really have a particular use for. Um, not that I didn't have a use for, but I, you know, I'm already in my KKA5 for proper planning, for, you know, everyday planning. 
But now that I'm moving to the weeks for work, that planner is going to become just personal stuff. But I also have this as my journal. So um, this may end up being the personal planner as well. However, I still want to keep decorating in the, in the A5. And I have all the other sections in there for my content, for my website, for the shop ideas all that kind of stuff so there's not really any room in here for that for that kind of stuff I don't really it's not sectioned like that is so that I think still think that's going to be super useful but it might just be that this is my calendar and then that becomes the um you know all the information and reference and stuff like that so still deciding even though today is the 28th of November and we're very close to the new year um but I suspect it's going to be a case of as the year moves that's that's how we'll figure out what's going to happen we'll just see what happens won't we um I'm pretty happy with these two little guys and then this as well this kind of is my little collection of things that are going to be accompanying me everywhere and it becomes so tiny you know compare this to my Kiki K A5 this enormous thing which I love and then um, you can see there's so much extra space that it takes up because it's so chunky and and I do love that it's chunky but I can't really take it with me I can but it's it's a bit more cumbersome instead I'm gonna be taking this to work just this and I'm gonna be taking this to the couch with me at the moment I can't really do stuff in here on the couch it's a bit cumbersome I kind of tear the paper on the rings and stuff a little bit so my th my theory is that this is going to be like you won't see me without these in my hands this is just how I, I want to be <laughs> so that's that um, let's stop rambling about the gorgeousness that is Hobonichi and jelly covers instead let's have a quick look at these tabs okay I'm gonna get into measurement mode here the tabs are 1.6 1.7 and there are 12 of them so 1.7 times 12 is 20.4 the journal itself is only 18 and a half the weeks so they would have to overlap which is okay because there's plenty of room for them to overlap so I'm gonna fast forward because I suspect this is gonna be super irritating to watch but um, I'm gonna give it a go see how it looks okay, but look they're all in they look pretty good they're mostly straight November is up and June is down a little bit it's okay and they all sit well within the edge that's awesome I thought I would just show you how I did this by using these ones so I'll start with the yearly I might grab them all and just put them on my hand so they lose a bit of stick she does give you an extra blank one as well in case you need it so the yearly is right up front but um, I'll put it I'll put it here on this one I just wanted to show you kind of how I'm placing them and let's just see how they space out I kind of I don't know if I want to make them all close together or I think I will keep them at the front like at the inside okay so first thing Arabea suggests is to fold it back on itself so that you get the little crease there these are printed quite close to the crease actually so then I'm putting them down so that the yearly sort of just sticks out and when I play that page over it I'm kind I'm kind of tr trying to use the page to press it down slightly so that I get it into the this direction that I want it in and then I'll just make sure the left and right is how I want it and that it's also um, not crooked so that looks pretty good I'm gonna leave it unfolded for the moment and then I'll go to the monthly section which is actually just next door this is the December so I'll put it on December because um, I'm not going to be using it and I'm just lining this up as well so that monthly is just straight there 
and it's very close to touching the one next door. So it's a bit easier on these pages because we have a line to line it up against as opposed to the yearly where we didn't have one. And then if we go to the notes section, which is right at the back, I think we get about 71 pages of notes from memory. The notes are starting just here. They've got their own title page. So again, I'm just going to lay this down so that it's I'll just have to turn it around. Oh, I've lost my page. I'll just pop it there so that I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to put it up so I can see what I'm doing here because I want it to be just in line with the others. So I've got that about where I want it just there. So now if I just check them in the camera, they look pretty good. Yearly is a bit crooked, but I might just fold down the notes one first. Just fold it back on itself first and then I'll fold it over. Same for my monthly one, fold it back on itself and then I try to fold from the middle and then outwards just to make sure it's um, not going to bubble. And then this little guy, teeny bit crooked, I think. Yeah, that's better. I've already folded him back. So, let me just open the front page. And now you can see all of my little tabs all around there. Super cute. Oh, I love it. It's very happy. So like I said, probably not much in here, maybe some dots, but I'm thinking nothing. I think I might just keep it nice and minimal. My business cards can go in here. Let's see if I've got some. We'll just pop those in there like so. Or even they could go on the back actually, because yeah, and I could fit some more in there. And then in the front, this cover does have a pen loop actually, but I'm not going to use it. Um, well, I might use it. In the front here, I could put something decorative in a way, like my little uh, Luscious Labels dots, for example. They fit perfectly in there. So that could be just what I put in there for now just to have um, something with me on the go. But I don't, like I said, I don't really want to plan on putting uh, too many decorative elements in here. I'm a bit of a coffee drinker, so maybe the coffee could go in there. And we had the little secretarial pocket, which, you know, potentially, <laughs> I'm not decorating this planner. <laughs> which technically maybe could sit in here and I could just pop that on the corner there as a little something. I, I kind of been avoiding it because it's white, but I think that's just the backing. Like I'm being dramatic for no reason. Yeah, it's totally clear. So I could, looks like we're doing it. Good grief. Just try and make it straight. Okay, well, that's kind of cute. Maybe this could be in here. I don't know. I'm going to leave it. I don't want to go too dramatic. I am tempted to see how the pen loop works. I know it has this one here that you pop out, but um, that's to hold the page down, this, this little guy. I think I'll avoid that. But it does have a pen holder here, so I could throw this I could throw that in there like that so that's pretty cute easy to easy to get around with okay I, I can live with that that much decoration and pen loopiness and then I would have my trusty rubber band have my trusty rubber band around it in my bag <laughs> adorable <laughs> anyway that's 
let's leave it there, hey? I think I've I've rambled enough. Um, but look how cute this collection of things is. Super excited to have these little goodies in my life. Um, and a really exciting um, start to the new year as well. I think that's going to be super fun. Okay, guys, I reckon I've, I've rambled enough for you today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're keen to um, follow my little Hobonichi journey because I'm super excited. I don't know how much of this you will see in real life. Um, sorry, on camera. Um, I feel like I can probably share, just maybe not the full-on journaling at the back, but um, maybe setting up some spreads if I want to set up some pages in advance. Um, you could see that and then the, probably the weekly stuff as well I can put um, on camera so we'll see what happens anyway I think a, a few new things coming for the channel and I hope you're excited because I am super excited to show you some new bits and pieces okay I have a I can't even see a spare spot on my bench to cook dinner on so I'm gonna have to go and organize my life and I am gonna see you all again super super soon <laughs> okay thanks guys bye